there was one that came out very recently called Pepper Grinder. Pepper Grinder. Pepper Grinder. And like I said, I've heard good things about it. I don't know why you have to open Steam like that for that to happen. But whatever the case may be, real quick, let me just wishlist Hades 2. It's already wishlisted. What am I talking about? Um, and also do this, do this. Um, so yeah, it's something I've been keeping an eye on a bit. It's finally out. Uh, there's a bit of a seizure warning. That's good, good news. Not that you can get a seizure playing the game, but that they know that you can get a seizure playing this game and then they want you to, you know, not have that. Another Devolver Digital spot. Pretty funny because I played a Devolver Digital demo for What the Car earlier today. It was all right. Kind of a, it's really, te it's technically by design, not a one trick pony, but it feels like one. Whatever the case may be though. Oh, okay, perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. Okay. Already starting off pretty sick. I love the vibes in here. I love the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it sounds. So, we're playing Pepper Grinder today. It is a drill-based Metroidvania, at least to my knowledge. I did not look too deeply into it because I wanted to enjoy it myself. And I've been looking for a Metroidvania to play on stream, so this just might be it. I hope so, but right now we're just putzing around. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Putz. Actually, let's do it this way. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Let's Putz. Today we're checking out a dope game called Pepper Grinder. It is a Metroidvania, drill-based Metroidvania, at least that's as far as I've heard. I saw it a little bit on Steam. I saw it on like a news or a game publisher website thing. And it looked cool, so I, you know, I want to check it out. And here we are doing just that. Uh, talked about it a lot, love Metroidvanias, love to check and play as many of them are available that I can get my hands on. Cut it, she's gonna cut the bridge, duh. I mean, I've lived on Earth before. Of course I know it's gonna happen there. So, let's check it out. We got our drill, our iconic uh, classic drill. Already digging it. Yeah. Okay, right trigger to, to, to turn the bad boy on. All right, all right, all right. So far so good. We got our health on the left instead of having a bar. We have pips, which is pretty like, either way is like acceptable, you know? I, mean, I don't think I have a prep. Oh, okay, we're already getting the movement down. Between pips and bars, I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. Like they kind of, I mean, they, they literally, literally they do the same thing, but like thinking about it or attempting to, okay, I didn't know that would hurt me. Attempting to think about it like somewhat critically. What, what, what is better? What works better? Cause like you get, you, if you use a bar, you get like, you can have higher health values and you can have more granular health and damage rather than like uh, just pips in which like an enemy, any enemy, even the smallest, weakest enemy can do a full pip of damage to you. Unless like there's like, unless they go further into like the way the pips are delineated, like if they're like half pips or like quarter pips and stuff like that. But once you get to like, once you start getting your pips down to that little, I feel like at that point you're basically working with a bar already, you know? And you know I like bars, loading ones and otherwise, I guess. Actually, no, I don't like bars. Only, only those are basically pretty much the only bars that I like. Or at least, you know, I'm thematically uh, intertwined with, I guess. Uh, a? Ooh, big, big dash. I'm also almost dead. What is that? Yeah, oh, it's throwing us our speed. Okay, not bad so far, though. But uh, yeah, I love Metroidvanias. One of my favorite things about Metroidvanias are like the movement systems. Uh, sometimes, you know, you they are deceptive. You know, you when you start the game, you're not really interacting with all the mechanics, especially all the movement mechanics, because you have to unlock them. That's an important part of the formula, so you can't expect to, you know, get every uh, get everything all at once, everywhere all at once. I'm gonna die soon. Do they have some kind of health replenishment Estus adjacent system? I'll have to live long enough to find out, I guess. 
or die. I mean, we, we it does look like we've been getting uh oh, secret actual accident, actual genius. Love to see it actually. Anyways, uh yeah, it's uh so far the movement is nice. You know, talking about the actual thing that we're currently interacting with, the art's nice. I you know. I am a fan slash a sucker for a good uh, pixel art game. What the heck? I don't have to hide from that guy, do I? Oh no, it's on this side. E yeah. Oh, it fires me. Whoa. Was not ready for that. Was not ready for that. You dig down there and you probably like dig through. I can I can see. I see what you're I see what I see what you're putting down. Can I talk to you? No? Just a cute little mole guy. I don't know if it's condescending to call him cute. He's wearing like overalls. He seems to be like a full human or full full person anyway. So you know, let me let me pump my brakes. There we go. Three? I hope so. Definitely don't want to be missing nothing here. So I did call this a Metroidvania. I don't actually know if it really is a true one. Like, like I don't know if it's like a level-based, like a true level-based game, or if it's like a. Hold on. Oh, you don't have to hold. You don't have to hold the drill button when you're under the, when you're under the rock or under the sand. Oh, but you do have to hold it while you're out of the sand. That, that makes sense. Can I kill this pumpkin for food? I can't. I can kill it for coins. Hopefully I can use these coins for something cool in a little bit. But also I would love more HP, all things considered. Because uh, I'm going to die soon. Oh gosh! Sooner rather than later it seems. Alright, we got our... We got our checkpoints. Uh, we'll find out later how generous they are, I guess. Because we're still, you know... We're still working with limited information at the moment. Oh, okay, you have like, you have like, you have combos, it looks like. All right, 55 is a pretty good combo, I think. I don't know, I have no context. Hey, okay. Okay, you can also bounce on heads like you were some sort of Mario character. Mario-esque. During the, uh, what the car segment I was talking about or thinking about when the next big 3D Mario platformer will finally grace us with its presence. Obviously, uh, who knows? Nintendo likes to work like on at its own time, at its own pace, regardless of how anything or anybody else feels. And if you don't like it, they'll sue you. Or if you want to make your own game based on their IP specifically, then they'll really still, they'll, they'll sue you, they'll get you arrested, they'll put you in jail, they'll get your kneecaps broken by the Pinkertons, they will do anything to protect their IPs. Which is, you know, depending on who you ask, like if you're asking like a, you know, market, the market fixes itself libertarian type, they might say that's, that's the ideal situation. But if you ask me, it's a little extreme, especially when it comes to games that they don't really support or care about anymore, but they also don't want anyone else to ever play or even look at or think about, even though they could be making money on it, or at least some people can at least enjoy and experience these games that they never heard about that seem cool, you know? But I'm not biased. I have no, I have no dog in this fight. Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. Okay, I thought, for a second, I thought I only got three. I was about to say, what, what's your problem? It looks like there are stages, though. It looks like there are stages, and it is not a Metroidvania like I... At least not the way that I thought. That's fine, though. I do see you there. Oh, yeah, water. That makes sense. Drills do work in water. I'm glad. Whoa. Oh, that's the music. The, the, the bass in the song made it sound like my phone was ringing or something, and I got worried. I was looking at both of them. Okay. So we're only on one two so far but even so so far i'm still quite enjoying what this game has to offer the music i mean i've always said and i will continue to say you know music is a imperative necessary thing for like at least something to draw you in a game if the music is bad it's still workable if the game is good enough but if the music is bad and the game is bad it's basically irredeemable but if the music is good and the game is bad you can still get something in there you can still get a little bit of enjoyment a little bit of joy i mean at the very least you can add it to like a 
Nice. At the very least, you can add it to like a YouTube video for like chill beats to study to or chill beats to uh, procrastinate getting ready for your finals to. That's a little bit more my speed anyways. All right. We got a pretty good combo going. You move way slower in the water than you do in the dirt, which I guess is totally understandable if I'm being honest, right? Huh. Nope, nope, all right. How do I get, how do I, how, no? Really? You gonna do that to me, dude? On my birthday? It's not my birthday. But might as well, oh no, we go down here. Yep, 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 yep. My man's got an eye for secrets. An eye for secrets. When I was playing uh, Mario Wonder with my nephews, on like earlier this week or last week this week uh one of them was like how do you always why are you always looking for secrets in games and i was like listen man it's i wouldn't call it ptsd because it's not from like a negative experience it's more just you know that's part of the thing that that's part of what draws me especially to metroidvanias but draws me to games in general is like the secrets the stuff that like a game designer deliberately hid but like they don't hide it so that nobody can find it. They hide it so that like, you know, you feel special when you do find it. That's part of what made Tunic such an amazing game because like it felt like 90% of the game was exactly that. Like there's so many secrets, so many stuff hidden that like once you do find it, you feel so smart and you just feel like you're, you're, you're part of a really cool club. I hope that reopens. I really hope that reopens because I don't want, I don't want to not be able to go back the way I came. Whoa. Hit him with the freaking sidewinder. Side, side, side winder. Okay, that doesn't do damage to me. I thought that it did. But I think I'm just getting a little distracted by the red on my drill. Take that! And here we go. It does look like I can't go back. That's horrible. I've missed one. Take me back. No, I'm restarting. Shh. Shh. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry about a thing, alright? Don't worry about a thing. It looks like you don't get anything for re-getting the things that you got before, the coins. That's all right, though. Do I care? Not really. That's, like, completely acceptable. I'm just gonna... We're just gonna speedrun, that's all. And by speedrun, I mean completely comb over everything for a second time, very methodically and deliberately. All right. We don't need to boost here, because obviously when you're going faster, you have less control. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's gaming 101 there. We also probably didn't need to boost there either, but it, it felt, it felt right, you know? Definitely felt right. Yeah, That's how you do it, dude. Look at the combo we got. I wonder if the combo, uh, like, affects our score at the end. I would expect it to, but I guess time will tell. I missed something. Oh! Whoa! We can build up some speed in this one, man. Can build up a little bit of a little bit of movement in here. I won't lie. I do wish that this had a nice segmented map with like squares to deline delineate or tr rectangles to delineate rooms and perhaps a save room that you would stand in for a little animation and then it would say game saved. You know, just for my uh, for my nostalgia for the nostalgia bone to just kind of you know vibrate subtly in my brain. I got a bone in my brain. That's what it does. Okay, oh! Okay. Whoa! Uh-oh. Whoa! See, look, it's it, sometimes my drill turns red and I don't know why. Is it, it overheating? No idea, ah! Uh, I have no idea. Yo! Ah! Ah, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got scared, apparently for no reason, eh? Okay. Here we go, let's go back the way we came. Oh, I see that, I see, that's what I was missing before. I was too busy, uh, just feeling, feeling the vibes. I knew there was a way to get in here. Is that it? That's not where number two is, though, is the thing. That's not where number two is, though, is the, is the is the problem. Hold on, we're going back the way we came. I'm not I'm not restarting the level just to miss the second one, okay? I'm that is you got the wrong one right now. That is the wrong number. All right? I see this. 
It's rude that that still hurt me like that, even though I was destroying the earth. Okay, obviously we were here before. That's where we got number one, I think. Or number three. That's where we got number three, dude. That means number two is even further back. Crap. I wasn't thinking. Whoa, that was sick. Did you see that? You can like skim across the water. That's sick. Okay, hold on. I don't want to restart again. But the problem is that I might need to. If, you, if you're going to judge me for restarting a, multiple times, uh, judge away. Oops. All right, let's just... Let's go over what we know. Number one. And then we got number two, or we got number three. We know where number three is. We know where number one is. So what's missing is number two. So that's all we know. Nice little recap there for you, just to make sure we're all on the same page, you know? Like for example, what's down here? Nothing. Death, I guess, is the correct answer. It was worth a shot. Now, now I'm keeping my eyes. Uh, now I'm keeping my eyes extra peeled for any suspicious elements in the fore or background. Like at this point, we're far enough that like I'm expecting to see it somewhere like on the horizon. Like we should be. Oh, it's literally right there. I see it. There we go. Yep. I just I wasn't I wasn't uh, I was too. I was probably talking about like tunic or something at the time i can't i cannot sing that game's praises enough like it's just it's a perfect game like it's perfect it itself in its in and of itself is perfect like it does like it fits its role as a zelda inspired kind of uh, Dark Souls combat system puzzle adventure game. That weird genre that doesn't really have or mean anything. Like it, 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 it encapsulates and like hits all its marks perfectly. Like if you're somebody who enjoys puzzles, learning things about a game, any nostalgia for I've, this is like a this is a repeat of a this is like a uh, a review so nice that I got to do it twice situation. But hello, set me free. There we go. If you are anybody who just really yeah has any nostalgia for like old games where back before Game Facts was a thing, back before oh no we can do this back before. Oh, that's how you yeah, that's how that's how you do that. Back before uh, Game Facts was a thing, back before like any kind of online, back before Nintendo or back when Nintendo Power was like one of the few ways you could figure out secrets for games. And back when like you would have to pour through game manuals to like get information and figure out how the game actually works. If you have any nostalgia for that period of time, yeah, I deserve it. If you have any nostalgia for that period of time, uh, Tunic is the game, is a game for you. Tunic is a game that you will love, I hope. And if you do, then we're, you know, we got a little something in common. Cause that game, I kinda, I had heard good things about, obviously, but I didn't have any stake in it. It was on Game Pass. I don't know if it still is on Game Pass. If it is, then like you definitely gotta, I mean, then there's no excuse. Unless your excuse is I don't have Game Pass and I don't wanna get it. That's fair. But if that's, if you have Game Pass, and you fit the criteria, the very wide kind of, okay, that's rude, that's so rude. That very wide, very nondescript criteria I gave. If you fit it, then you gotta like, you gotta like do yourself that favor and give the game a try. Music is great, the atmosphere is great. Like you can just spend like an hour, a day, a few, just kind of just going through that game, figuring out what's what, who's who, what does what does, you know? And then at the end of the day, you end up with a game with a pretty interesting story, pretty interesting, very interesting mechanics, and just like a cool, a cool puzzle as well, you know? It does everything, and everything that it is, it does amazingly well. Uh, the combat system can be a little janky though, if I'm being honest, if I'm like, you know, trying to lay all my cards fully on the table, I would say the combat system can be a little janky. 
but you know it's not the focus of the game right it's just it's a, something that they tried to flesh out as much as possible to give you as much uh, meat on the bone as possible so you're not just chewing fat you're getting some good some good strong protein in there that's what you hope for that's what you want and uh you know i i, I do like ex exploring in games you know that's that's a big <clears throat> draw once once i've finished exploring everything that's usually when i'm like okay i think we're, i think we might be done here you know when there's nothing new else to find that's 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 one of the things that like that's when i that's when i gotta log off as it were all right are you serious no take me back no 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 oh this is a mario game dude this is a mario game i'm sorry i'm so sorry i know this is the like sixth time we've gone through this level you gotta understand dude they put these things for a reason if we're playing a shovel knight-esque game another game that like honestly would have been a sick metroidvania but also you know stayed within its lane and really was thriving uh if we're gonna play a game like that, I'm not gonna leave shit on the table. We're gonna get to a point where they're like, you need at least 25 uh, skull coins to get past this area. And eventually you're gonna say, it's gonna say you're gonna need to have gotten all the skull coins to get the secret ending. And I'm not gonna miss out on the secret ending just because some guy wants me to not, you know, repeat the same level six times in the first video of this game that you're trying to, that I'm trying to introduce to them, okay? All right? manners be damned all right i'm here for the game and you're here hopefully for that too and by jove you that's what you're gonna get most of as somebody who watches you know various kinds of gaming content but usually the main drawing factor is always always boils down to like the actual thing the actual game you know Commentary is great. Good com commentary is better than great. Good commentary is like what can make or break. I mean, at the very least, it makes or breaks a makes or breaks a video. But like the gameplay, though, like because I I unless it's like a podcast or unless I'm really just literally only there for the commentary and I'm like my eyes are on something else. I don't know. I, I I'm not the best multitasker, as I'm sure you can tell by how horrible horrible my trains of thought in uh videos are uh i'm not the best multitasker so i like to focus on one thing at a time the exception is while gaming like i can listen to something very easily while gaming obviously talking is not uh included in that but i can you know that's 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 like you know the time when i can listen to music listen to a good podcast get that kind of stuff going but otherwise if i'm playing a game or watching something especially if it's something that like i actually care about or enjoy i want to like do my darndest to give the most focus i can give to that to said thing oh gosh rude that that hurt me that much all right go ahead and break those there was a lot more in there than i was expecting I'm just gonna hold the drill button. Is there any reason, oops, is there any reason not to hold the drill button at all times? I, I can't, I can't uh, put my finger on one. I think we've only missed one little coin so far. My uh, completionist spirit might, might be a bit unhappy about that, but at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. I can, I can let that kind of thing go, you know? I don't get too, uh, what's the word? I don't get too obsessive about you know symmetry or like emptying a screen that kind of thing not unless like it's story dependent or there's some sort of reward tied to it otherwise yeah or if there's like a big like percent sign in like the stage select that's like you've gotten this percentage of all the items on this stage that kind of thing if that exists then yeah i will i'll go back and pour through stuff as necessary because i want to i want to get the big number but it also depends on how good the game is. Like, for example, this is an interesting example, too. Uh, interesting to me, anyways. Uh, oh, don't do it. They, that's how they get you. I would have been so mad if I did all that again and I just ended up freaking getting the exact same number, not getting the last one. Actual tears in my eyes. Okay, so far so good. Hey, we have a shop. I knew there was gonna be a reason to do this. Sticker page. I don't know what that is. 
Gold key. Oh, that costs like, okay, I can't afford that just yet. New hair, a cool hat. Oh, yes, give me that. Those pants, oh, it's a cool cloak. Okay, I, I dig it, I dig it. What we got in here? Curiosities of some kind. Pop it. Sticker series, baby, emerald. What does that mean? I don't know, what's this? Yeah, what's that? Oh, is this just like temporary HP? These don't these don't last forever. Like I'm not a freaking idiot. I I I know temporary HP when I see it. Mama didn't raise no fool. Oh, okay, that's fair. When you have too many, it's like all right, you can't. You don't need any more, so we're not gonna force you to buy more. You know. Got Ruby, Mole Farmer. There we go. These guys are cute. Nice design here. Narcopter, that looks a little spooky. We got a little spoiler on some enemies because I, Pepper and Grinder. We got a little, some spoiler, spo spoilers, spoilers for some enemies because I got a little impatient, it seems. X, what is this? What am I doing? What is this? Hold on. What is this? What is this? Oh, I can, is this, okay, this is where you put the stickers down. Okay. What does X do? Remove, B is to, to change direction, R is to reset everything is my guess, left stick is to move things, and then this is to apply filters. This is like a photo mode it looks like. Interesting. That's what the stickers are for. Understandable. That's locked, whatever it is, only God knows. Here we go. Here we go. We're grinding. Oh, okay. Nice little emergent storytelling there. Emergent gameplay teaching us a little something. Don't touch those. They'll explode and you'll be very unhappy about your life choices if you're in the vicinity of said explosion. I get you. Love that. Kind of fun. Kind of funny. If you ask me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. We go up. We go up, we go down, kind of funny. Do we then, wait, no, then we just jump. We just jump over. No, then we just jump over. Whoa, no. Then we just jump over. Thank you for not embarrassing me for a third time, all right? I'll take care of that myself, thank you very much. And I think I've been doing quite a wonderful job so far, lol. They think they think they can they think they can they can get me get me uh okay so I've missed I feel like I've missed the first one already. I'm going back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep, 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 yep. No. That's that's the correct instinct actually. I'm telling you, man, I got I got I got the nose for it. I got the nose for secrets. I got the taste for it too. And once you get the first the first uh morsel, you gotta finish the whole thing. Okay, not helpful. We want to go through the red part so that we move the the red ones like so. Then you go. Yeah. No, you just go through here. We're fine. I thought that I had locked myself out, but no. Ah, uh, man, I to say that I don't get horror movies is wrong and an overstatement. But like I, oh. Am I stuck? I'm not stuck. Thank goodness. I just don't... I just don't get wanting to see a horror movie, I guess, is how I would describe that. Hello? What did I do wrong there? Oh, I went through... Yeah, I see. I see what I did wrong there. Very straightforward, actually, if you ask me. Now, here's a problem. We might have missed another secret real quick. Let's take a look. No, we're good. We're good, probably. We're probably good, probably. We should be fine, probably, probably. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm so worried. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually fairly worried that I might fall asleep during my best friend's uh, sketch comedy show. Um, <clears throat> if you may or may not have heard of the group, sketch comedy group, New York sketch comedy group, I mostly blame myself. 
Uh, my friend is in it, one of the OG members of the group. I've seen their show like maybe four or five times at this point. And so I thought, you know, what's one more, really? More like he asked me if I if I if I wanted to come see this one cuz they're going to be going to the Edinburgh Festival, Fringe Festival, that's what it's called. Uh and oh, okay, I thought that was a little bit more of a secret there. And uh, this is the last show before they do just that. So yeah, show a little bit of support. Why not, right? I didn't get a discount though, which is fucked up. They definitely should have given me a discount. Even just, you know, friends and family discount or something, but it's okay. I'll just never forgive them for the rest of my life, for as long as I or they live, whichever ends first. And the way things are looking, uh, it's a little up in the air, I'd say. A little up in the air. Oh, this guy thinks he's this guy thinks he's special. Imagine I mean obviously this is something that I'm sure every every YouTuber who is known for like their like sketches about video games, like a dorkly video, you know, it all it all covers the same base. And that is like being a henchman in a video game is so crazy, dude. Like, what do they do all day? Like, you just stand in one place, and you're just, like, looking and waiting for, like, the main character, the bad, the, the good guy to show up after, like, ten... That didn't hit me, by the way. That didn't hit me. I turned around, and I, it didn't hit me. But anyways, you're just waiting for the guy to show up, and, like, until then, you're like, I guess I'll just live. This is my life, is just standing here, keeping watch or whatever. That's so crazy. Being a video game character is so freaking wild, dude. We should make a sketch about this, dude. We should, we should definitely, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> is uh, okay. I see what I, I see what I did wrong here. There we go. Exactly what you needed to do, and then you go back here. You move back to the top. Puzzles, baby, puzzles. So if I was to describe myself as a gamer, I would say that I, you know, I have good gamer IQ. I know I say that. Sometimes I don't say it all that often, but I say that sometimes and It's also a pretty cringe thing to say especially if you say it more than once, but I do think it's true I played you know a good number of games. I'm good at Speaking the gamer language Not as in like leap speak, but as in okay spooky, but as in Being able to understand what the developer the creator of the game is trying to communicate to the player you know, I, I, uh, I pick that stuff up quickly, or perhaps more quickly than, like, the average person. But I don't know that for sure. Everything is always speculation, because, you know, there isn't, like, a, there aren't any studies to show or to prove whether or not that is the case, you know? Keeping my eyes open for, I think I'm dead? Yep. That was no way for me to, I, did, I didn't know how I was going to be able to get past that. Okay. Oh! Rude. Follow the paint. At least it's not yellow paint or people get real mad, huh? Isn't that a thing? People were mad about yellow paint and oh, we gotta go fit. Okay. No, we do have to go quickly? Do we have to go quickly? I can't tell. I can't tell what's going on up there. It looks like they are having some kind of issue. Oh gosh, I almost died. I almost died. Okay. I am almost dead, which is not ideal. What's over here? Ah, I didn't have to do all that extra exploration because everything I needed was right, right in front of me. That should do it though. That's the floor. And there's no timer, so I don't think there's like a, well, there's a time attack mode, I guess. But outside of that, <clears throat> there we go. But yeah, I, you know, I, I, even though I might not be able to, you know, stay uh, <laughs> in the loop and a normal, normal conversation between human people, you know, I can, I can at least pick up this language fairly well. I guess this is what, this is where my priorities have lied for what, what, for better or worse, you know? Hi. What was the beginning of the story? Like I was like, I was shipwrecked and then, lol, you can't hit me. I'm in the sand. How do you even know where I am is my real question though. That, he should be dead. That guy is dead. That guy has been killed. That guy died just now. Like he was murdered. There has to be a way for him to hurt. Okay, that's how. 
I was like, that has to be a way for him to hurt us while we're in the in the dirt. Oh yeah, that's when you. Woo. Woo. Okay. I would love for you to like. Oh. Oh. Yo, the jukes. Oh, the jukes. Oh, the jukes. Yeah. 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 You're not getting back uh, unless you have iframes. But I am also about to die, which is a bit bad. Ooh. Like so. I hope I don't lose points for dying during the boss. But I guess there's no way to know, is there? Oh yeah, so why, so what, what? Now that we know that you have a way of shooting that allows you to, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. It might be a time thing and not like a, not a proximity based venture. No, no, I want you to turn around. Oh, uh, or, no, no, no. How did I miss you? How did I miss you? What the heck? Die! This game is cheating, dude. I, oh my gosh. Lies. Lies. I refuse your reality. And I substitute my own. That's bullshit. Whoa, that was a cool, that was a cool trick though. That was like a, ah, oh, you know what that reminded me of, man? Remember the era of extreme sports games, whether it's the SSX games or even the Tony Hawk era. It's a bygone era for sure in many ways, but I truly do miss those those days. Oh, I always think that if you like hit, if it hits just the drill, it doesn't hit you. That is clearly not the case though. And it's very unfortunate for said, for said reason. All right, here's my moment. There we go. Kill this guy, hit him this direction. Okay. Halfway there, halfway there. We've only taken one hit. Oh. Oh. All right. This man only knows two patterns, and I also don't know what determines what the orientate. Oops. Oops. I don't know what determines what the orientation of the the beetle is like what determines when he decides to turn that that bad boy around ow please drop hp i don't want to have to do this again Ooh, the combo though one more go 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 uh-oh uh-oh please let me go see look why is he doing that why is he going back and forth it's not fair I should have dashed, dude. I should have dashed. Okay. Well, we've seen everything you have to offer first, boss. And you know what? I think that you're a great uh, first foray into what this game is uh, looking like as far as bosses go. There we go. Okay, I'd say that's just about the best one could hope for. Why don't you start with the purple shots? I know I already asked that question, but like, it, it bears, it bears, it bears an answer. Okay, that was a bit rude. That shot was a little, uh, a little crazy. Oh! No, not today, my friend. No! Nope. Oh, I didn't realize I was that low on H. When did I get hit those last two times before the last HP was there? I didn't notice. Rude. That's what I'd like to say. Is that you're rude. Alright, here goes. Here goes, dude. Yep. I keep hitting you. I keep hitting you, like, back and forth instead of in the same direction every time. I don't like it. Whoa. Whoa. I guess I don't have to hold the, the drill button the whole time, but something in me feels better when I do hold the drill, and the button, the, the drill button the whole time. What the heck was that? Cheater, you're a cheater. All right, this time. Yep, yep. No, we could have gotten one more. We could have gotten one more. I think if we got one more, we'd have been able to kill him like right now. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 
I wasn't worried for a second. Totally fine. Totally understandable. Oh, what a dodge, baby. It's like I did it on purpose. Yeah. All right. We might still be able to get the kill here. Hey. Okay, I think we only got hit one time, maybe? I'd say that was a good good fight, though. Okay, first area clear. It does have a bit of a Mario feel. I do have to keep an eye on the time. I have to stop streaming soon. How is that possible? I thought I had way more time. I thought I started the stream at like seven. That is how math works, actually. That's totally how math works. Also, still dropping tons of frames. I literally don't know what I could possibly do about that at this point. But I do need to start getting or start thinking about getting going so I can make it to that show that I was talking about. Hi, got anything to say to me? Sorry, I uh, I wouldn't be so keen on anybody who did that to a table I was just, you know, hanging out at. This guy's kind of built, dude. Look at him. He's been working out. Look at this freaking look at the look at the shred. He looks like a nice like built like big guy, but he's he's cut. Good on you, man. I mean, shoot. Makes sense that you got all these skulls around. These guys can't do nothing to you. You can, you can freaking rip them to pieces. Oh, hello. Hello, color-coded. How's the day going? Oh, we got like a nice six, six piece over here. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna be uh, wrapping things up somewhat shortly because I got to get going for the show I'm going to. Uh, I don't know, like, is can you like request if you're renting a place, can you like request that they like check the 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 the, the insulation or something? Because it's so hot in here, even though both my windows are open and it's really cold outside. Like it, even when I came back from my trip to uh, out of town, the first thing I noticed when I entered was that it was like way hotter in this room than anywhere else in the apartment. And I swear, like it's not. It, it wasn't always this way. Cause like during the winter time it's not hot. During the winter time it's actually uncharacteristically oops, uncharacteristically cold. But for whatever reason, now that I want it to be, you know, the temperature that it is outside, it's like there's like a a ghost. Somebody is keeping an eye to make sure that I am perfectly uncomfortable. Oh! Was not was not ready for that. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, you can jump there. What's this? What is that? What is this? Oh, that's what that is. Okay. I was uh, a bit worried, but it looks like I didn't need to be. Pretty sick. Is that smoke? It is smoke. Oh, well, this guy thinks. I really thought I would just land on him and be fine. That's kind of sad. There we go. Hiya. Yeah. Yeah, I deserve it. I deserve it. I got a little aggro there, took some dumb damage, but technically we're like basically at full HP. I wonder what kind of like, because right now there aren't, they don't seem to be, okay, I deserve it. They don't seem to be any major like upgrades for the character, but I'm also, we're only in world two, so there's still a lot more of the game to see, but you know, there doesn't seem to be much of a, as far as actual, that makes sense, as much as actual, fa I gotta stop, as much as actual, character upgrades go but who knows what can happen in the future right a lot can happen over the course of one game a lot can happen okay oh i got a little cut a little close there i think that's where we're supposed to go which means that's not where i'm gonna go oh okay i deserve it cutting it close that's how i like it though one hp is more than enough Oops. Here we go. I, oh man. Every time. Every time here. Wait, this is news. I don't remember this area. Well, I guess this is where I just like unlocked. Real quick though. I know, I know. We know that's where we're supposed to go. So that, oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. All I wanted to know was that there was nothing missing. You know, you gotta, you gotta check all your corners. That's how you make sure you don't miss nothing. Hello? Okay. Looking at the time. Once we're done with this area, 
that's gonna do it for today's stream ain't that something the first time we're actually like finishing a stream first time we're actually finishing a stream basically on time okay patience oh wow that guy no that guy basically shoots forever you just have to you have to pick your moment a little bit better than i than i did at least hold on let's go back the way we came hit him with the whoop. uh color coded uh 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 if you're still here have you seen any uh windbreaker i still recommend it for anybody who is uh looking for something to watch this season I I thought I I thought I dashed there. In fact I would have sworn that I did dash there, but I guess that I didn't. Hold on, no. I am no fool. You ain't gonna get me with that today, alright? I think I was born yesterday. Speaking of the end of the level, there we have it. Yeah. Alright, that's gonna do it for our little uh our little let's putts, our little first look at we'll see we might we'll probably do a bit of this. Uh, next stream. It's a nice little like it's well, not Not technically next stream, but we'll probably add this maybe on Wednesdays uh, It's pretty straightforward fun and uh, It's a nice like conduit, you know, you can get some banter going as you're playing it. I think it uh, really fits Also, there's locked levels. I don't know how we unlock them, but I guess that's something to worry about for the future. But yeah, if you were watching this and you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, you know what to do. And that's going to do it for today. Wherever you are, whatever it is you're doing, have a good one. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me here. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Take care and bye-bye.